In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, take a proper fraction and divide it by another proper fraction. So let's start with uh, one half, and we're going to divide that by one third. All right. What you should uh, remember from watching previous videos is that when you are dividing uh, fractions, that you uh, you do a couple of things. First of all you change this division to a multiplication and then you flip this fraction whatever it is so in this case we'll change it to 3 over 1 and then we go uh, 1 times 3 is 3 and 2 times 1 is 2 Okay. And obviously we change, because this is a uh, improper fraction, we have to change that to a mixed number. So three sets of two are there in three. There is one set of two and three, and there is one left over, which gives us one half. All right, let's try another one. Let's suppose we've got uh, four fifths divided by two sevenths. All right, again, we keep this fraction the same, so we just write 4 fifths. We multiply it by 7 over 2. Remember, this is flipped from this fraction, and we multiply across. 4, four times 7 is 28, and 2 fives is 10. So then we just say how many sets of 10 go into 28? Well, we can say that there are 2 and 8 over 10 and obviously we have to simplify so that becomes 2 and 4 fifths okay let's try another one uh, actually i think i'm going to ask you to uh, do these next three uh, three eighths divided by one half and five sixths divided by 5 twelfths and maybe we can squeak in this one right here 2 thirds divided by 5 sixths okay so give those a try and then uh, you know, come back and see how you did okay Okay, so you should have uh, paused the video, tried these questions out, and you are coming back to this to uh, check the uh, answers. Alright, so uh, we have 3 eighths, and then we multiply by 2 over 1. Okay, that gives us 6 over 8. Okay, and we can divide the top numerator and we can divide the denominator by uh, 2. So that gives us three quarters. Okay, just divide by two, divide by two. All right, let's have a look at this one. Five sixths multiplied by 12 over five. Five times 12, if you know your times tables, you would know that it's 60, and five sixes are 30. Okay, and that's a very nice, neat fraction that translates to 2. Okay, let's have a look at this one. 2 thirds multiplied by 6 over 5. And 2 sixes are 12. 3 fives are 15. And we can divide both of these numbers by 3. Okay, so 12 divided by 3 is 4, and that's fine. Okay, so I hope you've uh, found this video helpful. Good luck.